Hello everyone. Today I bring another edition with the latest updates in the world of K-dramas and our beloved actors. Hyper Knife Drama Cast Confirmed. On Wednesday, the 3rd of this month, the production team of the Hyper Knife Drama announced the actors and actresses who will participate in this acting project. The series will be led by actors, Sol Kyung-gu, Park Eun bin Park byung un and Yoon chan Young. It was also reported that they have already started the filming process of the series, which is scheduled to premiere later this year. Moon Jae Young and Choi Hyun Wook in negotiations to star in new K-drama. At the beginning of this month, we received news that Moon Jae Young and Choi Hyun Wook have been offered to star in a new K-drama together. He's the Black Dragon, working title, is possibly set to be aired on TVN. The network confirmed that it is true that the actors are in negotiations for this series, and discussions are also underway regarding its airing on TVN. According to reports, the actors are positively considering the offer. The plot will be based on a webtoon of the same name, and it tells the story of two university students who fall in love while playing the same online game in the early 2000s and then decide to meet in real life. Kim Soo Hyun and Kim Si Yoon together in a new drama. According to media reports, actress Kim si Yoon is in negotiations to take on the lead female role in the upcoming drama Knockoff, alongside Kim Soo Hyun. The series is described as a new dark comedy drama centered around the intriguing theme of counterfeit luxury items. As of now, neither of the actors has confirmed their participation in the project, but according to information from her agency, actress Kim si Yoon is positively considering it. Sun Yi Jin and Lee Byung Hun in negotiations for new film. A South Korean media outlet reported that Sun Yi Jin and Lee Byung Hun are in negotiations to star together in a new suspense film. It is a Korean remake of the French movie The Axe. The agencies of both stars have confirmed that the actors are positively considering the offer. The original film tells the story of a French engineer and manager who loses his job after a restructuring at the company where he worked for 15 years. After two years of unemployment and refusing lower-paying jobs, he comes across an opportunity at another factory but faces strong competition. Determined to secure the job, he decides to physically eliminate his competitors. If she accepts the role, the film will mark Sun Yi Jin's return after a brief hiatus in her career following her marriage and the birth of her child. Her last project was in 2022. The news has generated great excitement among her fanbase, all of whom are eagerly awaiting her return. Song Hai Kyo receives offer to work with the writer of That Winter, The Wind Blows, once again. Fans of Song Hai Kyo's work may remember the drama That Winter, The Wind Blows as a milestone in her career, where she portrayed a blind character and delivered highly convincing performances. It appears that she has been invited to work again with the writer of this drama, and if she accepts, this would mark the third collaboration between the duo, as they previously worked together on Worlds Within. The drama will depict the realistic struggles of people working in the broadcasting industry, capturing the birth of the South Korean show business and the passion of those working in this competitive industry. Currently, the project has not been finalized, and the production team is awaiting Song Haikyo's acceptance. The actress is highly sought after, and I have previously mentioned other projects she is currently involved in. Lee Jong-won may play romantic lead opposite Kim Sejong. Excitement swept through fans after news broke that Lee Jong-won may be in negotiations to play the romantic partner of Kim Sejong in the upcoming drama, In the Name of Alcohol. I'll leave the link to a video where I talk more about this drama. As of now, neither of the actors has confirmed their participation. I'm rooting for them to accept as it seems like a promising pairing. Park Hyung-sik is being considered for the lead role in a new SBS K-drama. Park Hyung-sik is being considered to star in a new K-drama titled Treasure Island which will be directed by the same director behind military prosecutor Doberman. Treasure Island follows the story of a man who hacks two trillion one of political slush funds for survival. However, a secret organization becomes aware of the money, steals it from the man, and leaves him to die. Despite this, the man miraculously survives but loses all memories of his past. On Bo Hyun has been cast in a new JTBC drama. Actor On Bo Hyun has received an offer to star in the upcoming JTBC series, God's Beads. According to his agency, the actor is positively reviewing the script. The drama tells a historical story and depicts the friendship and love of an expeditionary team in search of the country's sacred relics, with the actor playing the role of the son of a noble military figure. If he accepts, this would be his first historical drama since his debut. Actress John Jong Seo from Wedding Impossible faces accusations of bullying. Actress John Jong Seo, who has gained prominence after starring in the drama Wedding Impossible, is facing allegations of bullying during her school days. 
A recent article in a Korean media outlet exposes bullying allegations against the actress, made by a supposed former classmate. The victim, who chose to remain anonymous, claims to have been bullied by John Jong Seo during high school, including incidents of stolen sports uniforms and verbal intimidation. The allegations quickly spread online, leading to criticism of the actress, prompting her agency to issue a vehement denial, calling them false and fabricated rumors. The agency stated that they will take legal action against those responsible for spreading such accusations, claiming that they are harming the mental and physical health of the actress and her associates. Regarding this case, the allegations will certainly be investigated carefully, so it's important that we wait for a fair and impartial conclusion before drawing definitive conclusions. The actress is in the spotlight, and these could indeed be fabricated rumors aimed at harming her image, so we should exercise caution. Song Hyun is facing accusations of bullying. Actress Song Hyun, who recently starred in the drama Marry My Husband, is facing accusations of bullying from a former classmate, similar to the situation involving John Jong Seo in the previous case. Initially, the actress's agency denied the accusations, but later admitted that she was expelled from school due to a bullying incident while refuting direct involvement with the specific accuser. They claimed that the individual making the accusations is fabricating the truth. The agency has promised legal action against defamation. Once again, it's important not to jump to conclusions prematurely. The case will undoubtedly be investigated carefully, and the truth will come to light. Therefore, it's crucial to await a fair and impartial conclusion. This is a serious accusation, so we must exercise caution. Kang Tao makes his first appearance after being discharged from military service. Kang Tao, recently discharged from military service, will be the next guest host on SNL Korea's fifth season, marking his post-military debut. He will be the seventh host of the season, and his episode is scheduled to air on April 13, following the episode featuring former South Korean supermodel Lee So Ra SNL Korea is an adaptation of the popular American show Saturday Night Live, broadcasted on TVN since 2011. Young Kyung Ho may have dropped out of starring in the drama labor attorney No Mu Jin. The actor, who was confirmed for the lead role in the legal drama, has recently hinted at stepping away from the project. In a YouTube video where Young Kyung Ho reunited with his hospital playlist castmates for a casual conversation, he mentioned facing challenges in previous projects and expressed uncertainty about his next drama. This led to speculation among fans about the status of the project. However, nothing has been officially confirmed at this time. With that, I conclude another edition of the latest updates on K-dramas. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave your like. Until the next video, bye-bye.